Well, folks, we've got rain today. Rain, 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 and more rain. So, I am in the kitchen. And I have got the stock pot out. What I'm fixing to do here is, uh, Start on something I've been wanting to do since uh, New Year's Day. Now let's put the rest of this in jars so uh, what I've got on my mind to do is clean that bone off thoroughly put the bone in the stock pot here boil down make me some good uh, broth and then uh, all right here's where we're at got my faithful sidekick here every time I'm cutting up something in the kitchen he has to come and <clears throat> make sure I don't drop anything. Alright, <clears throat> we've got ham. We've got an empty ham uh, container. And we got a stock pot. So we're fixing to make broth. Come on, Diddy, drop something. Please. Oh, please drop something. Alright. Alright then. All right, then. Here you go. Good boy. All right. We'll be back when I... Probably tomorrow. My goodness, I wish you could smell this. Mmm. All right, folks. We'll be back in a jiff. Wow, it wound up being quite a bit of good meat still on uh, still on that bone. So what I'll do is I'll go I'll go through all this, separate it out, add some of that meat back to the uh, back to the stock, and uh, bring it up to a boil again. What we're going to do is peel up potatoes and onions, and uh, and uh, chop up our uh, ham and. Uh, Put them all in uh, pint jars and process it. Uh, so I got a bunch of sorting and peeling and chopping to do. I'll be back uh, probably when we're about ready to, uh, to ladle the jars full. See you in a few. Bye. Okay, what we've done here is uh, got our jars sterilized. We got seven kind of large potatoes uh, cut up, uh, three. Uh, medium sized onions we're just going to split this evenly between the 14 jars 14 pint jars uh, I've got uh, I don't know feels like uh, probably about uh, three or four pounds of ham uh, just chopped up left over we got our broth over here all right this is what we wound up with uh, we didn't use hardly we didn't use all the onions I'd go back and if I had to say I'd say two onions would be just fine for 14 pints that's sort of what they look like uh, without the uh, broth in there gonna ladle in the broth give you a picture of it and uh, and then we'll uh, stick them in the canner see what they look like when they come out all right here we have uh, ladled in all the uh, stock the uh, broth uh, 
we're giving ourselves one inch of head space on these uh, on these things, fixing to uh, wipe the rims and uh, put it in the pressure canner to finish it off. Uh, and look at here, bonus! I got enough uh, enough uh, broth and uh, ham left to uh, pour over and make me some open face sandwiches for supper tonight. So, bonus! That's always good. All right, we're gonna put these uh, in the canner. For my area, it's uh, 10 pounds of pressure for an uh, hour and 15 minutes on pints. So, but check your uh, local area, see what you need. Be back in a few. All right, got them all loaded into the canner. Uh, gonna uh, <clears throat> put the lid on. Don't forget, uh, I put a, I always put about four quarts of water in my pressure canner down in the bottom. You don't have to cover it like a water bath. Uh, and uh, don't forget your splash of vinegar to keep the sediment from settling on your uh, on your jars and lids. And uh, once we get this thing going, I'll be back and uh, give you a little instructions on running the uh, running the old antique Presto cooker canner. All right, back in flash. Okay, here's where we're at. Got the lid on it. Uh, kick the uh, range top up on high. Uh, what we're going to be waiting on now is we're going to be waiting for this little vent right back here on the back to uh, start blowing a good steady stream of steam uh, once it gets up to temperature. Uh, this needle won't move very much on it on this one uh, <clears throat> anyway but we're going to want to let this thing vent and blow steam out of this for about 10 minutes and we're wanting this little nipple right here to pop up. Now once that's popped up and this blows steam out for 10 minutes then we're going to want to put our little jiggler on here. Other people's are different. There's different canners so make sure you uh, check the web or check uh, check out exactly what yours is supposed to how yours is supposed to operate. This is just how my old antique Presto uh, works. Yes back when the Presto was still made in the USA. Uh, Clara, Wisconsin. Anyway, but uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, like I say, and then after that, you drop your uh, little jiggler on there. You let this get up to uh, the appropriate pressure for your neck of the woods, wherever you live. And uh, let it process for the recommended amount of time for what you're doing. Uh, what I'm specifically doing is uh, <clears throat> is an uh, hour and 15 minutes at uh, 10 psi. So, all right, we'll get back with you when it's uh, when it's time to uh, take these things out and and uh, set them to uh, set them out to cool. Okay, here we are. Last video on this one. Uh, we've let the uh, We've cut the heat off the range top, let the uh, pressure canner sit here with the jiggler in place to the point that the uh, pressure gauge reads zero. The uh, little nipple down here has uh, dropped out or dropped down to uh, nothing. So we are ready to uncap this thing, remove the jars, and uh, see how we did. So, I am going to set my little camera over here, kind of on its little perch, looking down at where we're going to set the jars, uh, and my little camera is going to argue with me. Okay, I think we're sitting there good. Alright, go ahead and just to make sure, remove that little jiggler, no steam whatsoever. The uh, lid off now. And over here in the sink to drain. Ooh, can you smell the vinegar? Well, I guess you can't, huh? But I can. Alright. And these jars are gurgling. I mean, they're talking. Holy moly. You can hear 
I'm hissing myself. I don't know if you can hear that or not. As I touch these rings, they're talking to me. Always remember to set these things on a uh, on a towel. Uh, everybody says it. Best I can understand as uh, to why you want to set them on a towel is so that the temperature difference in the countertop and the uh, jar itself doesn't actually cause you to uh, break a jar. Lighter up. Oh, listen to that. Listen to them talk. Come on, I want to hear a lid pop before we get done with this one. beautiful jars there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Those things are still bubbling like crazy. They're still cooking. So that is going to be chunk ham and potato soup uh, <clears throat> with a little bit of onion mixed in. And uh, well, I was actually hoping to uh, hear one or two actually uh, pop. But it looks like we're not going to have time for that. I'm going to tell you, this stuff's going to be delicious, I promise. I'll do a, 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 a can opening video. But uh, you just can't go wrong with uh, turkey or uh, ham. Oh, oh, hey, one, two. Ha, ha, I love that sound. Yeah, I've got the tattler lids as a backup, but uh, I can never get enough of that sound. All right, time for the taste test. Mm. Oh, the potatoes are perfect. And that broth. Mm. I can feel my ar arteries <coughs> hardening as I chew. This is a good stuff. Mm. Y'all have a great day. See ya. Bye.